News. Excitement is building over the upcoming solar eclipse. That's when the moon briefly blocks the sun, creating a few moments of darkness. It's rare, and that's why it's generating so much interest. But you have to take steps to safely view it. And Dr. Michael Bohm with Eye Surgeons Associates is here to help us keep our eyes safe. Thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you never, we know you should never look at the sun. I mean, frankly, it hurts to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but let's explain why the sun's rays are dangerous to yeah. your eyes. So there is a condition called solar retinopathy, where if for whatever reason you do uh, stare into the sun, where it can, in essence, burn the retina. Uh, and that's uh, like a sunburn on our skin, but the skin heals and the retina doesn't. So it's kind of like a, um, using a magnifier to catch the sunlight to try to start a fire, and so that can burn the retina and damage it, uh, affecting the vision, leaving you with a blind spot or missing section of your vision, and, and there's really not any treatment for it, unfortunately. Wow, and, and it's, so it's permanent. Yes. Yeah, so this is why we've been hearing so much urgency about being careful. Mm -hmm. um, in the Quad Cities, we are not expecting a total mm -hmm. solar eclipse. Um, it, they're saying around 90%. Mm -hmm. So how, um, how can we safely view sure. that? Because we have heard that during totality, it might be safe to view. But if we're not having totality, yeah. does that make a difference? It, it does. And so the only way you can see a partial eclipse, or, or should, is with uh, what are called eclipse glasses. And mm -hmm. those are uh, standardized uh, special filter uh, glasses that allow you to look at the partial partial eclipse without damaging the eye. Uh, you can, uh, if you are in the path of the uh, total eclipse during the couple few minutes that that occurs, you can view the total eclipse, uh, what's called totality, without these, but pretty much every other time, uh, including here with the partial eclipse, you want to have the eclipse glasses on. Mm -hmm. And these glasses, I just held them up to the light in the studio, which these are bright lights. I yeah. couldn't see yeah. a thing through them, so, so you really can't see anything nothing. until you're staring at the sun. Only at only when uh, when you're looking at the sun with those on, that's what you'll see, but everything else is going to be blacked out just because of the, the solar filter that's in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, aside from, uh, you know, viewing it um, with these glasses, people are going to maybe pull out telescopes mm -hmm. or, or their cameras. Mm -hmm. You've got a warning yeah. about that as well. Yeah, so uh, just like you don't want to look at the sun without anything, you also don't want to look at the eclipse through a camera or telescope. Um, you also don't want to look through uh, the uh, eclipse glasses with a camera or telescope because those uh, optical devices require special solar fi uh, filters which have to be actually fit and uh, specifically for the front of the optics of like a tam uh, telescope or camera and you should really seek the expert advice of an astronomer for that. Mm -hmm. What about your cell phone? That's included. Like you shouldn't oh, point your same, cell phone yep, up. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Same thing. Yep. Same thing. You shouldn't use any any type of uh, optical device to to look at the eclipse. Put on the eclipse glasses and, and keep yourself safe. Okay. Just wanted to clarify yep. that because yep. I know a lot of people are yep. are going to consider that. Um, so, any other final advice uh, about what you should or shouldn't do come Monday? Well, just uh, make sure you have some uh, 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 approved uh, filter or eclipse glasses. Uh, don't take any chances. Uh, also, watch out for children because they uh, might want to take them off and. And not be supervised. So uh, just don't uh, push the limits and make sure you have your solar eclipse glasses. All right. All good advice. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Michael Bohm with Eye Surgeons Associates. Thanks. Hopefully, we have sunshine yeah. on Monday yeah. so we can experience.